Today in sports, when is a curveball not a curveball? There's an answer to that one too, when it's an optical illusion. Oh my goodness, Michelle Steele Eric. wielding Dan Calaruso's baseball bat. Yeah. What have you got for this us? This is how most guests should get ready for your interviews, Eric, actually. Uh, but anyway, what do those magic eye paintings and Tim Lincecum's curveball have in common? They're both figments of our imagination, guys. The Giants pitcher will be focused again this week since he'll probably start against the Phillies in the NLCS. But today, he and teammate Jonathan Sanchez and other Major League pitchers are in focus, sort of, uh, because of this really cool study released this week in the journal PLOS1. Now, according to the study, the sharp break that batters see as the ball nears home plate doesn't really happen. It's our eyes over interpreting the spin on the balls we shift from using our central vision to using our peripheral vision. Now, here's how it works. Our crack team of tech guys and baseball geeks in the control room put this uh, together for us this morning, and it's a good approximation of the study. So here it is. Here's a sim simulated trajectory of the so-called curveball. As you can see, it's smooth. Watch that flash animation of the falling circle. There's a moving shadow that mimics the spin on the curveball. And as you can see, it's smooth. It's falling straight. That's where the ball is. Now we want to see how switching to peripheral vision affects the trajectory of the ball. Focus on that pink dot in the corner. Now the falling ball should appear to move to the side of the screen. Do you see that, guys? Yeah, and that's weird. It totally does. So what, is there any way, Michelle, <laughs> that's frankly amazing. Yeah, isn't that Can cool? batters be trained to adjust for this, maybe to get the brain not to switch to peripheral vision that way and uh, yeah. perceive the ball to be dropping off the table? It's really hard because it's unconscious. Think about it. That ball's coming at you at upwards of 80 miles an hour. A lot of batters switch to peripheral vision when the ball is about two-thirds of the way to home plate. Peripheral vision simply does not sense motion well. And when central vision focuses again by the time the ball is at home plate, the ball is at a different spot than where we expected it to be. So the authors say batters need to be better basically anticipating curves to adjust for this. But the best advice of all is you just got to keep your eye on the ball, guys.